But now I'm getting older, and it sucks. It really does because shit changes with you. You know, like like losing weight. Losing weight gets so hard as you get older. Like I'm on this new diet called just try not to get any fucking fatter. <laughs> Clearly, it's not working for me. I mean, that's clear. It sucks. The other part that sucks about getting older is that, like, shit just goes wrong with you for absolutely no reason. It used to be that I would have to injure a body part for it to hurt. Now I just wake up in the morning. I woke up the other morning and my arm was killing me. Killing me! So I went to the doctor, and the doctor diagnosed me with tennis elbow. Tennis elbow. Folks, I've never played a game of tennis in my life. Which means, I'm so grossly out of shape, I'm getting injured in sports that I'm not even playing. How fucking sad is that? Oh, it's terrible. Doctor wants me to lose weight, told me I should join a gym. So I did. I don't go very often. Obviously. But I don't go very often because my gym is in a very bad neighborhood. And I realized that my gym was in a very bad neighborhood when I noticed the running presets on the treadmill were beginner, intermediate, and from the cops. <laughs> Gonna have to find a new gym, that's what I'm saying with that. But do you guys wanna know uh, how I really, truly found out how fat and out of shape I was? It's a true story, I was at a, uh, a bar, I was out with some friends, and I met a girl, and uh, we kinda hit it off. We decided to go back to her place. And when we got there, she told me she wanted to get a little freaky. So she went into the bathroom, and when she came out, she was wearing a strap-on. Which she used to titty-fuck me. <laughs> now, as a man, Do you guys know the amount of shame involved in learning that your milkshake brings all the boys to the yard? I know that amount of shame. I do. I'm fat. I'm out of shape. I'm also a very non-violent person. Very non-confrontational. But look, we live in a dangerous world. Sometimes bad things happen. The other night I'm in bed, I'm sleeping. I hear this loud noise that startles me. I jump out of bed, I grab my nine millimeter, and then I think to myself, holding my penis isn't gonna do anything in this situation. <laughs> and plus, I don't need a gun. I've got these. You know, in case the burglars want hand jobs while they're stealing my stuff. <laughs> I like to be accommodated when there's people in my home. It was just the way I was raised. Just the way I was raised. I'm a big news junkie. I love watching the news. I, uh, obviously the big news in the last couple days has been Donald Trump and his tweets against the MSNBC anchors and all that kind of stuff. And I'm not gonna get into a whole rant on Trump. It's not, uh, you know, however you voted, that's fine. Uh, but I will say this. I, honestly, I miss the Oval Office being filled with thoughtfulness. And I miss the Oval Office being filled with pragmatism. And I miss the Oval Office being filled with intelligence. Really what I'm trying to say is, I miss the Bush administration. <laughs> Remember when we all hated that guy? Right? Everyone's like, oh, he's the worst president, you know? He came out, George W. Bush, and he's like, I'm gonna be the worst president of all time. And Donald Trump's like, Hold on, hold my beer. I'll show you, motherfucker. 
So sad. So on this in the news, uh, the U.S. Dairy Council recently surveyed 1,000 Americans 18 years of age or older. And I'm very happy to announce that 100% of the people, 1,000 out of 1,000, correctly answered the question, where does milk come from? Ooh, right, okay. 100% of the people knew that. And that would be great if the story ended there. But it doesn't. Because 48% of those people, when asked, where does chocolate milk come from? <laughs> responded with, I don't know. That's 480 people that know that milk comes from cows, but have no clue where chocolate milk comes from. Now even that would be okay, if the story ended there. But it doesn't. Because 7% of the people surveyed, 70 people, when asked where chocolate milk comes from, said brown cows. <laughs> I cannot make this up, okay? That's 550 people who know where milk comes from, but when asked where chocolate milk comes from, either have no clue or think there's brown cows spitting out chocolate milk. These people vote. A lot. They vote a lot. In large numbers. It scares the shit out of me, I'll be honest with you. What else was in the news? Oh, you guys, uh, Florida is uh, legalizing marijuana here. You guys got medical marijuana that was just legalized. I saw, yeah, they opened up some of the dispensaries. I think, yeah, seriously, I think, I'll be honest with you, uh, I think it should be legal everywhere. I do. Uh, I, I just, I think it just should be a legal drug. And I support it. I would vote for it, even though I don't smoke pot. I'm not a pot smoker. I do like other drugs, though. I am a big fan of other drugs. But here's the thing, you can't do the same thing with other drugs that you can do with pot. For instance, I tried to make cocaine brownies and it completely backfired on me because I took like two bites and I wasn't hungry anymore. I wasted all that coke. But now that I'm getting a bit older, my taste in drugs have changed. When I was in my 20s, I would snort coke, I would smoke pot, I would take ecstasy. Now that I'm in my 40s, I'm into different drugs, like Insulin. <laughs> These days, nothing gets me high like keep my blood sugar regulated. <laughs> I'm telling you, it's pretty sad how I roll these days. I saw that there was another celebrity phone hacking incident. Hackers breaking into the phones of celebrities, stealing naked pictures and releasing them out onto the internet. And the scary part is that these hackers, they're not just going after celebrities anymore. I mean, they're going after regular people like you and me. So as a precautionary measure, I've started downloading pictures of larger penises just to keep on my phone. Whoa. Is that it? All right. <laughs> did, we, did we lose the light? Oh, all right. That was, a, that was odd. We lost, how, how are we, there we go. All right, kill the lights. I don't even remember where I was in that joke. Downloading. Downloading. Oh, yeah. Well, that joke's really now, but it's fine. <laughs> this was the great mishap of 2017, people. You witnessed it all when my career took a nosedive at Club Fire Hazard, so it's fine. <laughs> How was the show last night? Hot! It was on fire! All right. Um, done with the, j the, the dad jokes. All right, I'll, I'll, uh, I'll start to wrap this up. Um, I am a single guy. I am single. And I know, ladies, you're probably saying to yourself, what? That's impossible. No, it's true. <laughs> it's true, I am single. Uh, you know, dating is so much different nowadays with apps like Tinder and, and Bumble, you know? It's become all about like casual sex. It's all about the hookup. And I was talking to a, a buddy of mine about this, and he said, well, look, why buy the cow if you can get the milk for free, you know? Which means why get in a relationship if the girl is giving up the booty? Well, I wanted to show girls on dating sites that I'm not about casual sex, that I'm looking for a relationship. So I changed the headline of my dating profile to read, Looking to Buy a Cow. <laughs> D 
didn't go over well. Yeah. Not even on Farmers Only. Thought it was going to do really well there. And it just absolutely didn't. I do enjoy online dating. I'm a big fan of it. Probably my favorite part of online dating is um, looking at the usernames that women come up with for their online dating profile. Because women get really clever. And they'll pick a username that talks about like who they are and what they're into, you know? So you'll see a username like Debbie CrossFit or uh, Photog Lisa, you know? Anal Jenny. <laughs> Turns out she's just really organized. <laughs> that was a waste of 200 bucks. Um, <laughs> So I figured, you know what, I need to change my username to make it a bit more reflective of who I am and what I'm looking for. So I changed my username to John will fuck anything that moves. <laughs> Surprisingly, it's not getting the overwhelming response that I thought it would. So I figured, you know what, let me go a little bit more trendy. Let me ride the wave of popularity. So I changed my username to gluten-free penis. <laughs> Again, the phone's not really ringing. Now granted, they're both doing better than my previous username, which was herpes ain't so bad. But I'm still not going out on a lot of dates. Fort Lauderdale, you guys have been fantastic. My name is John Levine. Let's get David Morton back up here. JohnLevine.com, JohnLevineComedy.com is where you can find me. You guys have been great. Thank you very much.